Sometimes the hardest part of painting is just sitting down to do it. So in today's video, I'm sharing five watercolor warm-up exercises guaranteed to get you feeling confident. You don't need any special supplies to get warmed up and start painting, but here's what I'm using. A Strathmore watercolor sketchbook, my Mungyo 48 pan paint set, and two round brushes, a number four and a number eight. Okay, let's get started. My warm up exercise number one, thinking about color. I love to just sit down and practice or develop some color palettes. It could be two colors that you love together. It could be five colors that you're really curious about how they would go together. You can think about if you were gonna paint a floral, what sort of colors would you like to do? This is a great exercise to get warmed up, practice your mixing and start thinking creatively. Warm up exercise number two, play around with the wet into wet technique. This is just what it sounds like, wet paint into wet paint. So here I'm putting down a really light wash and then I just release more pigment into the wet area. It can be anywhere I want and I just see what happens, see how it looks. This is just blue pigment into a very light blue wash, but you can also try putting a wet color into color, which is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm only doing two examples, but you could do about 50 of these. Just go across a couple pages in your sketchbook and try different shapes, different colors, there's no end to the ways you could play and what you'll learn from doing this exercise is even more valuable than simply getting warmed up. Exercise number three to get those creative juices flowing and get you feeling good about painting is to simply paint some leaves. As I say often on the channel, organic shapes are really hard to mess up. They're fun to paint and leaves especially make really excellent brush stroke practice because here what you see me doing is using the very tip of my round brush to do these tiny delicate stems, basically really thin small areas, and then I put extra pressure on the brush to make the leaf shapes. I like to challenge myself to paint a leaf in a single brush stroke or in just two brush strokes, and then I join all the leaves together with those delicate stems. And so with this warm up, I get really comfortable practicing using both the tip of the brush and the belly of the brush and adding pressure to the brush. This is the type of warm up and practice that, that will truly make you a much more confident and proficient artist. Okay, moving along, I'm going to flip my sketchbook and we'll work on the other page here. Our practice or our warm up number four is to paint a pattern. I'm gonna paint one pattern, but I highly recommend you try three or four of these if you have room in your sketchbook. Uh, painting a pattern, it's a lot like making the color palettes. It's just a wonderful creative exercise that really gets those creative juices flowing and it allows you to think about color and shape. It is a brush stroke practice. If you think about it, what I'm doing here is I'm starting with these magenta sort of rectangle shapes. So I have to think about what sort of color palette would look good for my pattern. And then what sort of brush strokes am I going to use to create these shapes? So this is like a lot of the warm up exercises in one. And I'm actually using one of the color palettes that I developed in my first warm up. So I'm bringing that in and it all sort of comes together. This will really get you feeling like a true artist. Develop a few color palettes, and it's just a wonderful way to fill your sketchbook pages um, if that's important to you as well. You can look through your sketchbook and look back at the patterns you've created and get inspiration for many future projects. Okay, what's my last warm up? This is one I go back to again and again. It's pretty simple. It's paint something you love. Paint a subject that you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be like a grand painting. I love painting flowers, so a good way for me to warm up is grab some scrap paper or one of my little sketchbooks and just paint like a really simple floral. It just, again, helps me think about color, really gets my brush. It just 
gets me comfortable with the feel of the brush in my hand and that allows me to practice my brush strokes. Then when I grab my really good quality paper and I want to start a larger project, I'm already feeling like I'm into this, I've got my groove going, you know, all of that. So just try painting a small subject and make it something that you're comfortable with and that you love to paint. And guys, those are my five ideas for warming up. The scariest thing about painting is just sitting down to paint sometimes. So we need a little encouragement. We need some warm up exercises to get us in that creative groove. And these are the five that I suggest you try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.